We now have access to all three deep dive depths, the Abyss Depth being the most recent, which sees the return of Kelra, last seen as a Dark Blade in Seraph, now taken and looking pretty familiar to Taken King players back in D1. This depth also presents another high difficulty combat challenge in the form of a third pressure trial. If you manage to get through this, you will reach tier 7 rewards, awarding once again a season of the Deep Peace, possibly Red Borders, but also enhancement prisms and even exotics, seemingly becoming a great farming method with a competent team. Pretty neat. With the Abyss depth, we can also finish the Aquarium Vivarium Triumph to acquire CO Chains, probably said that wrong, Scuba Shell. I'll quickly show a fast forwarded guide of the previous four flora and then this week's. Skip ahead to this week's if you already have the previous four. Don't forget to get your weekly dose of Veil Lore. Won't spoil this, so go listen into it. It does appear we only get one though, unless a second one opens up later in the week. On a side note, we do have Double Crucible Rep this week with Scorch and Clash, with Trials returning on the weekend. And the Swarm will be the featured Nightfall weapon for the Disgrace. Pit of Heresy is the featured Dungeon and Deepstone Crypt is the featured Raid. Over on Niamuna, Ahimsa Park will feature the Vex Incursion Zone with a partition there as well. The weekly mission is Desperate Measures, aka the final mission, and Root of Nightmares will feature the Cosmic Equilibrium Challenge, aka Planets Challenge. Bungie also tweeted that the new Twitch sub emblem, Pulsar Approaching, will have its unable to be used state resolved in an update next week. Almost there. Anyway, that's all from me. Have a good week 3, and I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs>